Press and hold X while touching a block and the character will grab it. When the character is holding the block, you use directional buttons or left hand lock stick to move the character and block. Alright, cool. This back here. And then this here. If this was used and something happens. By the way, you're probably like, Nova, you uh, you remember this much about how to do the puzzles? Yeah, some of the dungeons, like, the dungeons are the same, but, like, some of these puzzles are different. Like, they, they re... What's the word? They re... Um, they redid some of the rooms in these dungeons. Like, some of these dungeons didn't exactly function like they did in the original, so, I mean... A lot of these dungeons are, like, changed up slightly. Because, again, tools were changed, or, like... Cecilia has the Tinder Crest now, so they account for that. Or also hand pan, you were not able to drift like this, so like some of these rooms are very different. So like this is not really sure, some things are in my memory because I played Wild Arms one like two times. But these dungeons, some of it's like very new. So like uh, like there's a lot new to experience here. So it's not really like, oh yeah, I just remember a lot about the game because some of this stuff is new. gone i did want to have a second playthrough of wild arms one done because like i played the like I, I streamed the game one year ago and then i was like you know what wild arms one isn't like a super long game i wanted to play it again because i was like i want to refresh myself on the story even though i remember the story pretty well i, I was like i want to have the story more fresh on my mind so i can better spot the differences with alter code f and that's what i did like by now, it's been like six months, I think. I think it's been, I think I, I don't remember. I think it was like January around when I did my second playthrough. Four solemn gravekeepers turn their eyes to the center and wait where their eyes meet. Hmm. I feel like these, <laughs> they look like uh, pans. I see these lines maybe have to indicate what order. I just don't know what means what. Oh, wait. We're turning. Okay. I see. Hang on. Can I reset this? I see what you're doing here, game. Like turn these and maybe have them all face the middle. I had to guess something like that. Okay, easy enough. Bum 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 bum. Oh wow, I'm already on the boss. That's crazy. Should have used a gimbal coin. It's gonna take me a while to get used to the fact that there are no save points, and I need to use gimbal coins. I need to make my own save points. Looks like that thing found a home. It's eating the energy in the ruins. If we defeat it, we might be able to return the power to the ruins. You must be careful. It intends to eat us as well. Is this a Trask enemy? The thing from like most Wild Arms games? No, it's Mag Tortoise. Okay. Well. Rudy only has two bullets left. Wait, didn't I upgrade your, um... Oh, your ammo only applies to attacking. Okay, I see. Um, we're gonna try boosted shell. Analyze you to see what you got going on. And then Cecilia, or not Cecilia, Jack, just attack, I guess. Get him, Jack. 35. Yeah, what you got going on here? Speak to water. Dang it, I don't have water on me. Cecilia's kind of worthless. Also, what's the point of scanning if they're not even going to show you the HP? <laughs> That's like the main reason you'd want to scan in an RPG. In turn base like this. Or turn base action, magic lens and tails of, etc. Behold, boosted shell. I right, give one twenty-two. EM laser. Alright, Cecilia's probably going to be on healing duty. 
Because fire is worthless. I mean, actually, no, fire is not worthless, is it? Yeah, it's not worthless. We can still hit him with fire. It's just not his weakness. You do that. You burn. Have you go for speed thing. We saved their MP for a reason. Bum, bum, bum. Beautiful. Gun. Nice. Oh. And did it get him out? Rudy, my man, get this lock on ready. Ooh, if he's weak to water, we can use Cecilia's Aqua Wisp when she gets enough force. That'd be really nice. Heal yourself. I kind of hope he damages you, to be honest. Because that means that we can get Shoe Dark in here. Although Rudy and Jack might be enough to just kill. Heal up. Boom, boom, no, 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 Cecilia. It's Cecilia here. Let's go. You're only wishing on your death faster <laughs> by doing that. Oh, defensive charge. I feel like... Mac Tortoise will unleash a powerful attack on the entire party after a concentration of its power. If all three members attack it, you might be able to prevent it from... Prevent this by interrupting. Okay. We need to use Shoe Dark here. I'm gonna boost its shell with you. I think you need the Aqua Wisp, and you can't use Speed Fang, but just attack. It should be enough. You're weak to water, so Shoe Dark should be enough. That looks bad for me. Oh, I killed it? Okay, didn't even need Shoe Dark there. Sure thing. Hey. Good level up for Cecilia. Didn't even need the Guardian. Alright, cool. What's this, huh? A terminal's operating must be controlling powers to the runes. Mm -hmm. What about this one? Sparkling cable burnt the screen. The terminal no longer works. Oh, there it is. What is this creature? It definitely looks like a golem. A golem? You mean the golems from the Thousand Years Ago legend? That golem? Wait a minute. We came here looking for an absolute power. Does that mean the absolute power is... Yes, this golem. I don't believe it. I can't control this huge creature. Does it actually move? Settle down, Jack. Getting angry won't solve anything. Well, anyway, this is out of our league. We should get some help. Let's bring Dr. Emma here. I have to go back for Emma? I mean, it's not too far. Oh, I see a chest up there, huh? What's this? Seems there's some trick to the floor, but nothing happens when stepping on it. Hmm. I do a jack and a hand pan? Sure can't. me alone. Alright, I guess we have to go back for Emma. It's not too far, because this was like, um, the center area was closer to where Emma was. I also only found two chests. Or four chests. I think we still need six. We can only get four, though. Um, also, really cool of Emma to be like, oh yeah, go do this for me, but <laughs> we need her now, so it's like, oh, we gotta go back for Emma. Hmm, okay, so the cartridges are like, um, the cartridges are like the different guns. Because they each have their own ammo count. I see now. And normal attack has its own ammo count. Hey, die. Toad. Well, 
You guys are not worth my time. Hey guys, just looking for Emma. Don't mind me. I grabbed this chest now, Emma. Found the Lithia. That's great. Good job. Good job, everyone. Let's hurry. No, my chest. I hate you, Emma. This is a golem. A legend from a bygone era. Somehow it was sealed in these ruins. We've been excavating these ruins in the hopes of exhibit exhibiting exhibiting this golem specimen at the ancient cultural exhibition. I've been forgetting to use lucky cards, by the way. Which, you know. I have to get back into that tradition of using wild cards during or wild cards. Lucky cards during a boss fight. That boss would have been perfect because we had all three party members. A long time ago, when Fulgaia was still green, there was a legend. Eight giant weapons were created to fight alien monsters that invaded our peaceful world. A severe battle ruined our world, and this golem was sealed away in the ruins. Many of these weapons have just recently been excavated into various ruins. The conditions of the ones we found have been wonderful. We have plans to excavate all these pristine golems. This is the one we plan to excavate soon. I thought I had to found I thought I found my absolute power. Why'd I get my hopes up? This golem's gigantic. How are you gonna carry it? Do you think it can move? Unfortunately, the golem cannot move on its own. Our current technology is not sufficient to fix it. For that reason, we'll have to remove it from the ruins by a much more primitive method. Let's start the excavation at once. It isn't fragile, so it's okay to be less than gentle with it. Let's move. Aye aye. Let's move. I even designed a special contraction for this momentous occasion. Let's begin. We did miss a couple of chests here, but I'm not too fussed about it because we have to come back here anyway. Faces. Oh my word, what is it? That's a golem! A golem this up close! It's wild! Now presenting the Emma Motor. It may not have been built for this exact task, but it's proven very useful. Ah yes, the Emma Motor was mentioned in Wild Arms 2. This golem can finally see the light of day. It wouldn't be possible without your hard work and, of course, the Emma Motor. Yes, this golem's name is Lilithia. The ruin's name is derived from it. Look at this gigantic titan. Don't you think it's amazing? It's been dormant for centuries, yet the condition's excellent, so pristine and complete. The workers and I will work overtime to prepare this golem for exhibition at the ancient cultural exhibit. Therefore, do you think you could wait a little while for the reward payment? Don't worry, I'll pay you your reward. Please understand that I cannot leave this extraordinary find alone. cool that's all done so we found four treasure chests in lothia's cavern we could just worry about the others later we've only completed berry cave right now which is normal that golem lothia is supposed to be completely inactive and totally safe correct I believe once the golem is finished, his job is a weapon. He's programmed to no longer be functional after that. So like that scientist said, the golem's not operational. The Guardian said there will be a battle with the Steel Menace. If that's not about Lilithia, then what could it mean? Man, who does that scientist think we are? We don't work for free. We'll find out tomorrow. I don't need to be in a hurry. After all, we had a very unusual day. Tomorrow we'll be accepting rewards and visiting the Ancient Culture Exhibition. I'm planning another trip out to the ruins after we're finished, but I'll stick around until then. We just met. Do we have to say goodbye already? 
That's the life of the drifter, right? I always sleep under a different sky. What, the steel sky? Speaking of sleep, why don't we find lodging for the night and wait for tomorrow's exhibition? Sounds good. Let me save first. Hello there. Save my game, please. Also, we got another crest graph. I don't know what magic we're gonna get, though. Probably something attacking-wise. Earth, magic, HP is determined by FP. Ooh, we can maybe get this. Sure. I don't know what I just got. Oh, character. That's so weird. Spread. Not an attribute damage that spreads out. That's a good AoE for you to have. Not bad. I'm not gonna bother upgrading Rudy's arm also. You're in Adelheid. Under the guidance of our King Justin, we're constantly improving the castle. What, Justin became a king in this universe? Are you here for the ancient culture exhibition? Are you here to help with the excavation of Lothia's coffin up north? Okay, that's how we go there, but we already did it. I guess we're resting. Hi. Let's rest. Sorry, but I have to get going. Do you already have a place to stay, or do you live in this town? Uh, yes, you could say that. I understand why I felt so determined to find out what the word Lolithia meant. But venturing into the room with you both gave me that feeling. A feeling that I'm a part of something, part of a team. I really needed that. Even if we must now part ways, I'll never forget this experience. What, you're just... We've only spent like an hour together, girl. Alright, great. I'm planning to attend the exhibition tomorrow. Perhaps we'll see each other. If by chance we do, please do not treat me any differently. Alright, goodbye. I'm sure we'll never meet again. What was that all about? You never know, she could be a princess. <laughs> Knock it off. You know I don't get along with those kinds of people. Excuse me, excuse me, fellas. Will you be staying with us? Sure will. Sorry. Oh, yeah, we'll be staying here. The two of us and the mouse. nice. The day of the exhibition is finally here. And imagine if this game had voice acting. That would go hard. I would love to see the trio with voice acting. That would have been really good. I think I read this game was on a bit of a budget. So, I mean, maybe that's why they didn't have voice acting, but man, it would have been great. How awesome would that have been? Alright, well. Let's get a move on. The exhibition grounds! Ah, oh, the Adelhard Fair. Classic. And play those mini games. Other drifters and I have also contributed to excavating treasure to the exhibition. Of course, the royal family paid us pretty well. Men with sharp wits like me are more interested in Adelheid's money than its artifacts. Hello. Alright, well. Bad. The crowd at the exhibition is much larger than I anticipated. All these novelists must have pricked the curiosity of the citizens of Adelheid. 